Hello everyone, welcome back to the show. I hope you're all having a great day today. And this video is just like the title says, we're going to be doing a tier list of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid characters. This includes Greg's family, his friends, some of the pets. Feel free to share what your ranking of these characters would be in the comments section below. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into the videos. So we're going to be starting off here with Shirag, and I would say overall, if we're just talking about the book series, he's probably a C tier character. I actually think it's one of the few ones where it gets improved upon in the movie. But overall, if we're just including the books, I don't really think he does anything that interesting. Then we have the Hefley's dad, Frank, and I would go ahead and say that he's an A tier character. Definitely very underrated. As you all know, he's a hard worker, so I don't know why the mom always gets mad at him for working on his civil war toys. I think he really deserved it. Of course you do have to consider he definitely isn't a great parent in the 12th book where the whole family's literally committing crimes and the same goes with the mom. But yeah overall a pretty normal dad when you get into and in the original trilogy of movies it's actually a pretty interesting character as well. Then we have Fregly the weird kid and let's just put him in the B tier for now. I don't know if he's as crazy as you remember like when you actually go back and read the books but he definitely does do some really weird things and he even becomes Greg's friend in the eighth book. He also has these weird secret talents like being able to blow a bubble with his gum and his belly button. And he's always doing these crazy things like dressing up as a snowman and they actually did that in the new movie as well. Overall I feel like if he actually got more friends he would be a normal kid so he's just kind of lonely and needs attention. Then we have Greg's grandma. We'll just go ahead and put her in the B tier as well. I don't really think she does anything particularly interesting. Actually, it looks like they don't even have Gammy on this list. I don't know what's up with that because she actually did way more things than Greg's actual grandma. Of course, she was on the Hefley side and the grandma was on the mom's side. And I also think the grandma is like a conspiracy theorist as well. She reads like the New York Times. And of course, she adopts their dog, Sweetie, when they decide they're done with it. Then we have their grandpa, and this is from the dad side, and I'm going to go ahead and put him in the A tier as well. I think what you see with him in the Roderick Rules book is very interesting. Overall, I think he just is a very nice grandpa. He makes them some delicious watercress salad, and he watches very interesting shows on TV like The Lobby, and I read these books too much in real life. But yeah, overall, I would definitely say an A tier character. It looks like next up, we have Greg himself. And I'll just go ahead and put him in the A tier for now. I'm not entirely sure if we want to move him up or not yet because there are some pretty crazy characters in this book series. But in terms of Greg Hefley, he is pretty relatable and that really was the whole appeal of this book series. Just a very well written character who's kind of selfish. But also, as I said, relatable. Jeff Kinney definitely just nailed it with this character. And I like what they did when they adapted him into the live action movie, except the long haul. And even the animated movies were pretty interesting. But to clarify, we're just basing this off of the book series. We're not doing all the variants of the multiverse of Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And then we have Holly Hills, and I like how her face is cut off here. Now, we're going to have to put her right at the bottom. If you've actually read the books, you would know that she doesn't even care about Greg and like this whole romance was all in Greg's head and she also like never appears again so kind of a wasted character not to mention she even mistook Greg for Fregley which might have just been because of his glasses then we have Manny and we also have to put him at the bottom I know everyone hates him and it's just like he's the most unrealistic character in what is otherwise a relatable realistic fiction series I mean he's building stuff in their backyard with scrap parts he built like an entire mansion he knows how to hack computers, he sells Greg's stuff. He's an absolute menace to society who must be stopped. Then we have Mr. Jefferson, and we're also going to have to put him down here in the ploopy tier. I mean, like, what the heck? He's such a jerk to Greg. I know that Greg definitely isn't a great influence for his son, but they always just miscommunicate with each other, and it turns out terrible. Now, on the other hand, Riley's mom is actually fairly nice. She doesn't really do anything too interesting, but we'll put her in the C tier, I guess. Don't really have a problem with her, other than she makes Riley eat fake desserts with vegetables inside of them, or spinach, or something like that. That is bad parenting 101, and that's how you raise your child to just... I don't even know, that's just cruel and unusual. Then we have Patty Farrell, and everyone hates her, but I guess that's supposed to be the point, so would I put her higher for being well-written that the point that you want to get across is that she's a bad character, or do I put her low because she's a bad character? 
I'll just put her in the D tier. I think this is another character that people remember more from the movies and the books. She actually plays a pretty minor role in the books and is just like a tattletale. She really does not do anything that interesting. Then we have the pig, which is kind of an overused character. I'm also going to put him down in the D tier. I really didn't think he was that interesting. He was in a few books before he ran away. Just one of those miscalculations I think Jeff Kinney had where he really wasn't even that funny. So I am glad that they kind of got rid of him in the 13th book. Because as I said, I didn't even think he was a funny character to begin with. Alright, then we have Roderick. As you all know, we have to put him up in the Zooey Mama tier. I feel no need to explain this. I will say, though, the book version of Roderick is a little bit different than the movie version of Roderick. I don't necessarily prefer one over the other, but I do think a lot of people's perceptions when they think of Roderick is the Roderick from the movies, and the Roderick from the book is very different. And as I said, I don't prefer one over the other. I would still put them both in the Zooey Mama tier. Also, you gotta love how Roderick can't spell the name of his own band. One of the great mysteries of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series that I don't think will ever be answered is how Roderick ever passed his driver's test because it seemed like he was 16 when the first book started and he was already driving in his van. And as you know, he's very good at the drums. Then we have Rally, and I'm just going to have to put him up here in the A tier. Of course, he's Greg's best friend. He's very gullible and naive, but, you know, that's kind of the main point. Greg manipulates him a lot. But he is a loyal friend to Greg, who is a selfish jerk, so you got to appreciate it. Then we have the mom, which I guess we will actually put in the A tier as well. She's also a bad parent for committing crimes with her kids in the 12th book. But honestly, it's pretty funny. She definitely needs to work on not being so impatient in lines. And then we have the dog, Sweetie. And like the pig, I just don't think it was a very funny character. I don't know, maybe just animals aren't really that funny in the style of book. That's kind of what I thought about it. It's not a terrible character, and I like how it wasn't used in so many books. So overall, I'll just put it there. And I have no clue why it's transparent and colored, unlike everything else on this tier list. They probably should update this tier list. This was the best one I could find, but there are still a lot of missing characters like Bill Walters, and like none of Greg's teachers are on here. Is it just me, or does Greg's teachers like change in every book? Like, he's only in his fifth year of middle school so far. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you want to see more videos like this, like a Big Nate character tier list, or Captain Underpants, or something to that matter, just let me know in the comments section down below, and I will see you guys in the next one.